What's going on YouTube? It is your favorite YouTuber, Aaron Martin here coming out with a new YouTube video. I know it's been about a month or so since I've uploaded my last video, but I'm trying to get suggestions as to what people want to hear from me. I haven't really gotten any ideas as to what I wanted to upload recently, but I'm, I kind of wanted to do this one because I've noticed like a different change in aggression as these videos, these certain videos have gone on. I've uploaded two of these. So it's like my one year in, two years now, we're coming up. Now this isn't three years, we're coming up on three, right? But I wanted to do a little bit of a pre-video to that, I guess, is the main reason because is, uh, I'm not saying my opinions changed drastically, but I'm starting to notice, like, as I've grown up, say that in the Air Force, notice responsibilities, how different my opinions change, at least in the sense of, like, um, how the military is going. So for those of you who don't know, um, we're starting to try to do, on a general sense, right, we're starting to do more with less. And we are starting to um, put more responsibility on people earlier in their career, I'd imagine, so. I'm starting to notice, like in me personally, like I'm not even saying I have a lot in comparison to people at my pay grade, because yeah, I really don't. So I'm not trying to say, oh my God, I have so much stuff to do. I can't handle it. It's not that. It's just something that I've noticed. It's because we've gone on, we're trying to do way more with less, which it it irks me to a sense. It's like our leadership, like we're, we're trying to do more with less. I'm like, that's great. But we, it's even like we have no, there's no answers because it just comes down to bodies. Right, and we just don't have the people. So I'm noticing as as we are going on here that we're ever trying to do more with less, and it's exhausting. Like not even like to me, just watching it happen. Like to people that I know, good people like that, are just have so much to tackle. It's crazy, you know. And you know, they're, we're, we're stretched incredibly thin. This is DoD wide too, not even just in the Air Force. This is everywhere, right? So. I don't know, I'm just, you know, trying to find the best way to handle it, and uh, just that's something I've noticed in my opinion is going on. So, in my sense, at least in the Air Force, I'm like, am I going to re-enlist? Am I going to stay in? Am I going to do my full 20? The common question, like, <laughs> you know, we're right at that mark where I really should be considering these things, I know, but I haven't put too much thought into it. I mean, I've said before uh, that I'm not opposed to re-enlisting, but I'm not... I mean, if I can get my dream job out of the Air Force I'm, or what I want to do out of the Air Force, I'm going to take that and just run with it, right? So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying my hardest to, to, you know, really, you know, this isn't the only thing I have. I want to branch out and do other things. So, I mean, we'll, we'll kind of see how it goes, but yeah, I mean, it's been about almost coming up on three years and December 8th will be three years in service. And, you know, I wanted to talk more about, like, just basic training, like, you know, the changes that are going on just in the branch in general, like, and just in basic and things like that, but I don't have that information. Um, I've looked into it a little bit, because I heard they're getting rid of Airman Week, Airman Week now, right? I've heard that's going away in October. Why? I don't know. Uh, I know they're going back to eight weeks of basic training. Again, like, it's, it's crazy how often this stuff changes. Um, like, I want to do more about how basic training itself has changed, but... I don't know where to get that information. I mean, I've been looking, I can look more around YouTube, see if I can find it, but then I'm just relaying information that someone else has made to you, which is not necessarily like stealing information, but I don't like that either. It's already out there, it's already out there. Um, that's why I encourage people who are going through basic more recently to make videos as opposed to like telling me, you know, like if you're going through and you have questions that I can't answer, make videos on them when you get your answer. I guarantee people want to know. But yeah, that's what I wanted to do was talk more about basic training and like the changes, but I, I don't know where to find that information. I don't know where, what, what else they've changed besides Airman's Week, you know. I don't have like any contacts on the inside or anything like that. I mean, if anyone of you is working in BMT right now for like as something, medic, TI maybe, you know, anything like that, and you can tell me what they're doing, I would appreciate that. And I would like make one, make a video on and like j just credit you, you know, so, something like that. But that was what I wanted to do, but point, you know, bottom line up front here, like the bluff here, has my opinion changed? Uh, well, yes and no. Um, no to the extent that I still appreciate, like, what the Air Force has done for me always, you know, no matter what. I mean, I've, I mean, I try to tell people, like, you don't really realize what you have till it's gone, and the Air Force will give you a lot at that time for that, to, to provide for you that you just don't, you kind of take for granted, just as things you'll just end up getting anyway, but... Um, yeah, that's something that I wanted to kind of push is just that no to the sense of I'm always going to be appreciative and I'm always going to defend the Air Force to a sense of like they do good, but no in the sense of like I'm starting to see maybe it's just like in the realm and I work in, 
You know what I mean? So I'm not trying to say this is across the DOD. I'm noticing a change, definitely. Um, but we'll kind of just see how it goes. I mean, I don't have an answer. That's why I'm not like saying, it's so bad, it's terrible. These leaders, they don't know what they're doing. It's not that. I'm not, I'm not saying like, I'm talking bad on anyone. It's just like, I'm noticing this increase in the workload drastically as time is going on these needs, right? And we just don't have the people to facilitate those needs. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. But uh, yeah, almost three years in, um, I'm not going to ALS until I think like June or July of next year, something crazy like that. So we'll see how that goes. But that's, yeah, it's pretty crazy how that one's gonna end up being, so. Yeah, um, I wanted to thank you guys for still tuning in when you do, when and if you do. You know, I know I've lost a lot of my audience as time has gone on, but I still appreciate the growing sub count. And uh, at least it's just for this video in particular, we're gonna end the video with this. I'm gonna be giving away a copy of Black Ops 4 tonight on stream for this particular video. So make sure you guys tune in for that and you need a Twitch account to, in order to join in. But um, yeah, I'll be giving away a copy of Black Ops 4 tonight for Xbox One. But yeah, other than that, guys, I appreciate you still tuning in and watching and uh, we'll see how the rest of my career goes. But almost three years, yeah, it's crazy. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys another time.